They say time is just memory mixed with desire. You combine half a cup of the day you were born with a liter of nostalgia, and of course, don't forget a teaspoon or two of how the hell did I end up here. If you're lucky and you can afford it, you dump all of your appreciation for the world in there too. But let me tell you, most people ain't got none of that on their shelves. I know I didn't for a long time. And if time is memory mixed with desire, then God is desire mixed with the very apparent lack of that same time. We don't know how long we've got, do we? Before we're flushed down the toilet of existence into the sludgy river of forgottenness. I myself have been instigating bar fights, rattling the gates of heaven. Imagining another somewhere, somewhere where it was better. Newly refurbished. And a place that could satiate my desire and satisfy my memory for all time. Anyways, this story isn't about me. Sure, it's about the drunken ramblings of a lunatic. And a handsome one, too. But it's more about that moment of clarity when that particular lunatic finally passes out in that puddle of self-deprecation and all that's left is the silence. It's also about music and God, of course. And indigestion. God bless. Our story starts with a very loud, slightly annoying sound. Reminiscent of my first ex-wife, Betty. Ah, she had a voice like a foghorn that could reach behind your ears and just grab your eyeballs by their sockets when I pull them out of your face. Now we're arriving, everyone off the ship. I said, now we're arriving, everyone off the ship. Oh, God. Um, um, excuse me. Yes, love? Um, is there a bathroom around here or a, a loo? I, I'm sorry, I, I don't know. It's okay, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Uh, I, I really gotta go. Go, go where, son? I, I, I don't know. Well, if you're lost, you should visit Father McFeely's church. It's just down the way, right over there, young whipper snapper. Okay, okay. Hey, thank you. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, oh. What did I do to deserve indigestion like that? I don't know. God, do you have napalm mixed with formaldehyde for dinner by any chance? I honestly, I don't remember. I was on the ship and then I just had all this yuckiness inside of me and it, it felt like forever. And I, I couldn't think of anything else. Fair enough. I can't even remember if I put my shoes on this morning. Oh, I did. I was marrying this couple earlier, and I can't even remember their names. Mary. Are you Father McFeely? Father McFeemy. McFeemy. Yeah. Seems they've been calling me that around here. Father this, father that. Hey, hey, hey. Want a swig? Yeah, sure. Champagne for my real friends, and real pain for my sham friends. Ha <laughs> ha, that's what I said. You know, pardon me for asking, uh, Father Mc... McFeemy? But, um, you know, it's, it's been a while since I, I've been to church. 
And it, is it customary for the priest to be getting hammered in the bathroom stall? I forgive your trespasses, son. I'd rather have a free bottle in front of me than a pre-funnel lobotomy. Ha! <laughs> ha! Oh! You know, at this point in my life, a pre-funnel lobotomy doesn't sound half bad. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got bigger troubles than the shits, kid? It's all the shits. Mm, I guess. I don't know. I, I just thought it would be different. Like, you're in this... This life that you're given, and you gotta you try to follow your dreams. You gotta find a job, find someone to love, and I'm sure there's. What else is there? Yeah, you forgot to, um, you know, buy a car, get a house, find her cheating on you when you come home from work, get divorced again. Well, son, you know, I, I'm sorry. Well, I guess I didn't get there yet. You got a you got a few years ahead of your kid, that's for sure. Oh, well, man. listen, there's another wedding recital out there soon, yeah? I'll be hiding from them. Why don't you enlighten this man of God that I am about your situation? I don't know. Well, have you got somewhere better to be? I don't think so. So why don't you take me back to the start? And you know, from the beginning. The beginning? The, the beginning. beginning. The beginning. We're going back, back to 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 the beginning, to the beginning. My parents taught me how to love, even though they couldn't love each other. My twin who didn't make it from the womb Taught me how to become a better brother My mother taught me to read My teachers taught me to spell A lack of God taught me believing in myself But Dr. Sose taught me to dream Trade any chance at picket fences for a couple of beans I was done before I knew What this flower inside me was Which grew, oh I did it of the weed as the flower grew to mazes filled with childhood fantasies And I couldn't let it die I couldn't let it I just couldn't let it die Or I'd regret it Couldn't let it die Or I'd regret it Just couldn't let it die I couldn't let it I couldn't let it I scribble on the napkins of the restaurant Before I got a guitar I had 50 songs Imagine being up on stage Spooling out my thoughts And hearing someone else out there sing along And I felt the world's awful shame I realized I was a weed People may say I had a choice to make But there was never a choice to me Yeah Couldn't let it die I couldn't let it couldn't let it die, or I'd regret it. Couldn't let it die, or I'd regret it. Couldn't let it die, I couldn't let it, I couldn't let it. So we're going back, back to the beginning. We're going back, back to the beginning. We're going back, back to the beginning. We're going back, back to the beginning, to the beginning. So now I grow into what only God could know. Alright everyone, let's get this started. A one, two, three, four. La da di da 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 da
one more time with feeling. Ladies and gentlemen. La da 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 da. Welcome to the sermon! From the crowd a deafening silence roared. A fenestrating God from the house of the Lord. A far up boy of just twelve on stage, out of tune, out of rhyme, and his first time to side in the play. Chim chim chimney on Christmas Day. The church had a book room that smelled like a coffin. Da, 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 da. And I'd hardly call their refreshments poppin'. Da, 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 da. But there is something cool in being there, surrounded by people lost or losing all of their hair, but still holding tight to something. Tra -ha -ha -ha. It was the hymns, you know, that spoke to me More than the godliness of them The old smell of parchment made more sense than The words they held within No, oh, the bells, the bells, those yarning bells They shook me in my pew Not for God's work, but for my father's truth Half the years I've taken now is all Those angels gave me till they come I was standing high upon the roof When she took my hand and whispered for a child towards your news You best not fall, plus by your father's truth The years I've spent now is all I had. Da, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. When I finally had the talk with Dad. Da, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. He told me he was an atheist. When it came to God, he could take or leave a lot of it. I wrestled with my father's trouble. It was the hymns, you know, that spoke to me More than the godliness of them The old smell of parchment made more sense than The words they held within And oh, the bells, the bells, those laughing bells They shook me in my pew Not for God's word, but for my father's truth I couldn't fathom why a man would, would fake conviction. I couldn't fathom why a man would, would mouth the words. To books he never read, to stories never learned. Little did I know one day that's all I do. Little did I know that's what we all do Baptized before I could consent I was bathed into the river I was saved before I had done any wrong It was a silence that roared When I finally listened for God I dress up in my Sunday worst My wrinkled American Eagle shirt Walk my way to service on my own And I lesson real hard Cause they refuse to use a microphone Searching every word for what was true it was the hymns, you know, that spoke to me More than the godliness of them The old smell of 
parchment made more sense than the words they held within. No, the bells, the bells, those thrashing bells, they shook me in my pew. Not for God's word, but for my father's truth. I said, not for God's word, but for my father's truth. As long as could be remembered, life was peaceful in the garden. The residents who called themselves the Sowers were a feisty band of six to seven year olds. They did six to seven year old things day after day. They played tag, they said jinx and cooties, and they just sort of fooled around all the time as kids do. They argued, sure, but never growing up, they never really worried. They drank and bathed in the river even sometimes stood on a huge cliff overlooking the river and the vast expanse of desert beyond. Deserts they dare not go. They had explored each and every little cranny of the garden except one, a dark grove covered in vines. They speculated at what secrets lay there, but they never entered. They figured tigers or monsters or even hybrid dinosaurs could live there usually didn't even play near there. Well, well, usually, but one day some of them were playing ball, and as playing ball goes, the ball just so happened to roll down the leafy and mossy steps into the grove. And in most cases, the ball would be forgotten. But the one boy who was destined to catch the ball was also destined to be the most curious and explorative and imaginative of all the sower kids. He peeled back the vines and crept into the grove late at night. While the other kids were sleeping, soundly. And alas, there were no tigers or dinosaur hybrids, but only a big and towering tree, the most massive tree the boy had ever seen. And hanging from that tree, just low enough to beckon the boy, was a succulent apple. But it wasn't just any apple. The boy didn't have the proper words to describe it, we would know it today to be a candy apple, glazed in fudge and caramel, only then to be completely covered with sprinkles and different colored marshmallows. Oh my, it was the most gorgeous thing he'd seen in his long life as a forever child. His eyes were transfixed upon the fruit, and he had this weird feeling he'd never felt before inside him. I've had that feeling before, you know? The first time I listened to the band Slipknot, I had heard they were evil demon names of God. For some reason, deep down, I couldn't deny I liked it. I was reeled in by the only thing I could describe as the devil at the time. Well, well anyways, uh, back to the boy. His fingers took on a life of their own as they ascended to pick the apple from the bizarre tree, which bore no other fruit. With the self-control of a hungry child, he gobbled that bastard up. And when he was done gobbling, he was so tasty he even devoured the core in one bite. And the next day, he returned to the tree, but this time with his friends. This time there were three fruits hanging, again all perfectly within reach. They plucked them up and devoured them in seconds. The following day there were nine of them. Now you would think all the kids would be into eating desserts 24-7. There was a small faction of the sowers who were wary of the tree. They grew warier still when they noticed that the children who started eating the apples began growing taller. Not just that, though. Some of their voices deepened, and all of them started growing hair from all kinds of strange places. For the first time since the beginning of time, this created a rift in the garden between the children who would eat the fruit every day and the ones who refused. With time, two tribes formed. There were the forever youngs who refused to eat the apples and continued to live out their blissful lives as sowers to the garden. And the other group called themselves the Reapers and became very strange and distinct. 
they began building greater structures, which they would soon replace with greater structures. They invented gods and rituals to go with them, with laws and rules they could never follow. They began fashioning clothes from the garden, which they now excavated. They even put their private parts inside of each other and sloppily mashed their faces together, and then their bellies grew, and more of them were born. And over time, they needed more and more and more of the garden to themselves. The forever young saw what was happening and panicked. And on one fateful night, they approached the tree with fire and attempted to burn it down to the ground. But the tree was well guarded. It was being worshipped, you see. And soon the reapers descended upon the area and surrounded the forever youngs. They had bulging muscles and spears, and the forever youngs didn't stand a chance. They ended up back to the ravine with the raging river below, the river that led far away out of the garden into the lonely desert. The six-year-olds rushed the adults, but it was no use. And then a wave of the most jacked seven-year-olds followed. But the adults were like superhumans. They went pachoo. Quick swings caved their heads and launched them into the air, going, ah! It took only a moment for the small group of babes to be tossed into the river, screaming and crying those horrible, awful screams of forever lost. The reapers laughed their way back to the camp and thought themselves big and strong and wise. But little did they realize with time that they had ingested a curse. As years down the line, they felt their bodies grow frail, wither, and one day lay down to die. It was not God that banished man from the garden, but it was man itself, with dreams of once again finding the eternal childhood they had jettisoned into the river. They followed that river down, down, down into the unknown. They followed it down, down, down. God gave Adam everything The pearly winters and the early spring The fruit that sparkles in the morning dew But still Adam felt cruddy in a starling grove So God asked Buddy, why so low? Don't you know, child, thou art blessed with eternal life Grateful to your daddy in heaven on high With every need fulfilled, why do you cry? Well, I'd hate to defy, but I want love I want love I want love, let it do me in I want I want love, I want my love, let it to me, let it to me. Now I heard there was an unholy tritone that David played from upon his throne. But God didn't really care for music that wasn't praising him. But still a good boy, David just couldn't resist To play the devil's tune, it just spoke to him But God ain't into polyamory on the receiving air And when God rolled over in postcoital bliss His poor lover David wept a song of sin And it went like this, it went I want love, I will want love, I will want love, let it do me in. I want love, I will want love, I will want love, let it do me in, let it do me in. Careful of the words you say now. Be careful every step you take. When the pimp leaves.
leaves his stack with one of his love. Can you blame them for shooting? Ah ha ha ha! Euphoria, euphoria, a dirt so loud. It's still playing in your head as you come back down. Come back down. I want love. I want love. I want love. Let it to me. Let it to me. I want love. I will want love. I will want love. Let it to me. Let it to me. Now that I'm deep enough to swim, I ain't scared now of any. Hey kid, pass me the bottle. You see, there ain't no devil. It's just Gob when he's drunk. And you kind of remind me of myself when I was going through my second divorce. Dorothy, face like a bag of hammers, but legs like steel. And uh, I can remember one morning thinking, I just want to start again. You know, my dad promised me, go to work, shine your shoes, press your shirt. You're going to be a good man. What did he know? Can't stand this life I lead. I don't wanna talk about it. Long days, short nights. Gosh, I can't afford a weekend. Squishing pennies in my fingers, hope they might turn into dollars. Something about this life I lead. It's got me fantasizing about a business trip, a business trip. Splurge all of my money on a business trip, a business trip, a business trip. Lose all of your luggage on a business trip. I don't wanna talk about it. Garbage fires on my block, crushing garbage got me jealous. Begging to store all my time, I'm buying my expensive houses. This one looks just like a castle. This one looks just like my nanny. Take my stay for half my life. I couldn't hide it by the law. I don't wanna live in squalor. Better wake up. Business trip, a business trip. Get his tax deducted on my business trip. A business trip, a business trip. Get myself deducted on my business trip. I can't stand this life I lead. I don't want to talk about it. Long hours, short views. I can't stand the bitter path. I spent 15 years in school and I still can't afford McDonald's. Every second on the clock, I pray to different guys arrive. Till Friday time, or Minnesota, or Bagafay, or Oklahoma. Or your Val, it was all of the Val. I don't need me a plane, just send me away to. is
Talking all around me I breathe out And I breathe in I don't know What life possessed me I don't know What I was before Was I from the depths of this lonesome core of this wretched earth? Or from up in the sky, up in the sky, up in the sky? Or from up in the sky, up in the sky, up in the sky? I don't know which way it is. To the promised, promised land All these angels are all tempting me And offering me their hand I don't know just what to say now Now that I lost my heart in the back of my throat I guess I'll live in silence now to keep the peace One day, one day I'll be up in the sky One day I'll be up in the sky Up in the sky Up in the sky I'll be up in the sky, up in the sky, up in the sky. I'll be up in the sky, up in the sky, up in the sky. I'll be up in the sky, up in the sky, up in the sky. Smell of sweetness fills 
me with completeness where the water pools at my feet. I feel it, I feel it, where the breeze blows spring through my hair, where the sun shines with out of care, where I feel love completely. It's burning oh so brightly, and the light inside me helps me know I'm not yearning. comes up journey One day I'll feel love for myself One day I'll feel love for myself I know this to be true One day I'll feel love for myself One day I'll feel to be true one day i'll feel love for myself i know this to be true one day i'll feel love for myself i know this to be true one day 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 i'll feel love for myself i know this to be true Hi, Tweety. How are you feeling today? Oh, I, I think I'm feeling pretty, pretty good. I thought I saw you crying. Well, most of the time I'm feeling pretty good, but you know, sometimes, well, sometimes I wonder if I'm a mistake. I'm not like anyone else I know when I'm asleep or even awake I get to dreaming that I'm just a fake I'm not like anyone else No others I know are big or quite wild I'm just small and quite tame Most of the time I'm weak and quite mild do you suppose that's a shame? Oh, no. Often I wonder if I'm a mistake. I'm not supposed to be scared, am I? Sometimes I cry and sometimes I shake. Isn't it true that the strong never break? I'm not like anyone else I know. I'm not like anyone else. Just fine as you are I really must tell you I do like the person that you are becoming When you are sleeping When you are waking You are my friend It's really true I like you Crying or shaking or dreaming or breaking that you are becoming when you are sleeping when you are waking you're not a fake you're no mistake you are my friend oh that's really nice oh sometimes i wonder if i'm a mistake i'm not like anyone else i know when i'm asleep or even awake, I get to dreaming that I'm just a fake. I'm not like anyone else I know. I'm not like anyone else I know. And I'm not like anyone else. Good. Let's just do one more, okay? Oh God, what have I done?
Well, to be technical, kid, not a lot. When I was your age, I had three divorces under my belt already. Dorothy? No, wait. The third one? Blood's Mary. Joseph. Jesus. Are, Are you still, still with, with me? me? <sighs> Just lay back, kid. Follow the sounds. on the sidelines gasping in horror until she screamed when the frog jumped at her from out of my hand yeah 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 the first time i ever let something on fire or oh, jump at first into a murky lake or pick berries or cut crayfish or canoe or try to speak french my first times in giant nature we're way back then, yeah, yeah, yeah. They say you don't know what you got till it's gone. The me that's here today would all but be for naught. 
sometimes when I'm in the city And it feels like I forgot about the cottage About the cottage Yeah, 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 yeah At the cottage, at the cottage at the cottage, yeah, 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 yeah. At the cottage, at the cottage, at the cottage, at the cottage. The first time I ever listened to a record, it was Elton John's greatest hits. My parents weren't much into music, but the cottage family were. Yes, I'd dance around to Crocodile Rock and Benny and the Juice Chat. The only time I ever saw a ghost Was at the cottage one spooky night A strange figure floated towards me from the window I pinched myself but I couldn't wake up So I held my sisters tight They say you don't know what you've got till that's gone that's here today would all but be for not. Sometimes when I'm in the city, man, it feels like I forgot about the cottage. About the cottage. Yeah, 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 yeah. So let's go back down. Let's take a swim. Go with Danny Lion into the wind. Let's lose ourselves. And who we were back then At the cottage At the cottage So let's go back down Let's take a swim Blow a Danny light Into the wind Let's lose ourselves And who we were back then At the cottage At the cottage At the cottage Cottage where my life began at the cottage, at the cottage, at the cottage, yeah, 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 at the cottage, at the cottage, at the cottage, at the cottage. You know the thing I like about bathrooms, kid? There are beautiful analogies for life. You sit, you struggle, you sweat, and then you flush it all down and you get out with your day. A little do we know about that thing that we flush down, we're literally going to be sweating it just a few hours later, but as long as it allows us to move on, in that moment, flush it down, open up our hearts and keep on swimming. Or turn on the shower while I was in the tub. If I were a chicken, would you let me keep my eggs? Or turn them to omelets? Please don't make me beg. If I were a spider, would you release me in the garden? Or walk through my web without saying pardon? If I were a mosquito, would you let me suck your blood? Or kill me? on sight with your sister's ug. Mm. And if I were me, if I were me, if I were me, would you treat me like the me inside me that you see? Yeah. If I were a horse, would you ride me through the pasture or turn me to glue when I can go no faster? If I were a flower, would you pick me on sight or blow my seeds to the wind so they can take flight? If I were a steak knife, would you use me for steak or to spread on your toast your veggie pate? If I were a canoe, would you take me down the stream? Or sink me to the bottom where you can't hear me scream? Whee! And if I were me, if I were me, if I were me, would you 
treat me like the me inside me that you see. She brings, and if we ourselves want to be found, gotta take a big look at this world around. We could all feel lost and feel misused, or feel like no one says the real you. But if all these feelings are all we see, how can we reach the truth beneath the big old oak or raging river? With everything we must consider, how much of it is our projection of things inside that we're expecting? If I Toad asks, if I were me. And the guitar asks, if I were me. Would you treat me like the me inside me that you see? Yeah. Or would you treat me like the me I truly fail to be? Yeah. Be. Would you grow me into the air or cut off my limbs and turn me into chairs? To me while I play the guitar. Mom and ladies just trying to save me on a sunny day in Cheerwad Park. They say they're not trying to convert me. They say they just like my music. But then they Facebook and introduce me to the friend named Jesus. <laughs> Mormon ladies looking about 18 tell me that they got the answer. With youthful eyes and genuine smiles hidden under practice banter, they tell me that they're from Utah. Can't help but think they probably know nobody here. Can't help but think I'd like to hang out with them and chat with them about life over a beer. But instead, they get up and keep on walking. When they realize I know a little bit about their faith So they wandered up to every other single person in the park To get rejected time and time again And this was the soundtrack that I play Hey, 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 Mormon ladies walking up to me while I play the guitar Mormon ladies trying to save me on a sunny day in Chihuahua. Do 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 good comes from shame, no, no, shame, 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 we'll let the devil know your name, whoa, shame in the morning, shame in the evening, shame spilling out your pores completely, shame when you wake up, shame while you're sleeping, with shame that you sow, it's shame that you're reaping, shame, nothing good comes from shame, oh, shame. Let the devil know your name 
alone Shame when you're low Shame when you're phone Shame when you're with your one and only Shame when you spittle Shame when you diddle Shame when you even laugh a little There's shame, shame, shame Nothing good cause I'm shame Oh, shame We'll let the devil know your name Yeah, yeah, yeah Father, when do you feel shame? It was after Helen took the kids to Montana. I sat down and took a long look at myself in the mirror and I said, Kid, you're done messed up. You let your sins define you. I've taken the long road and I'm rolling down. But hey, we've got strip poker on a Tuesday and we're shooting cramps on a Sunday. Now the shame in the short bread, shame in the shower Shame makes the sweetest kiss turn sour Shame from below, shame from up above Shame for everything that you love Shame in the mirror, shame on the mattress Shame taped up in the box in the attic Shame in your brain, the shame in your heart Shame, shame, shame at the core of who you are There's shame and nothing good comes from shame, no, no Shame, we'll let the devil know your name all oh, this Shame, 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 shame on you Nothing good comes from shame, all oh, this Shame, we'll let the devil know your name all oh, oh, oh. If your mother could see you now It's corny to say But the only thing I need in my life is you I know I can be cheesy sometimes But when I'm around you I'm like a damn fondue And if someone shook me down I'd only pray That my love for you weren't in my wallet All tucked away and if the tide broke me down like a boulder, I'd only pray To be the sand between your little toes someday ba, ba, ba. When I asked you to be my girlfriend, you said yes without hesitation as if you were waiting for weeks for me to ask it You just yearned for the confirmation And when I asked you to run away with me You said it would be your obligation Although you had plans with other friends We didn't know yet the destination And if lightning strike me down I'd only pray That your picture be the last damn thing I see that day And if hell freeze over like Canada I'd only pray That wherever they send me be half as warm as your embrace My friend is getting married today Just him and the bride and the minister and witnesses I guess their love remains Without acknowledgement from anyone else And I know that it's silly to say But I realize while on the toilet That I'd rather spend the rest of my life with you Than with anyone else in sport Somehow felt the same I'd only pray I could unearth those hidden parts of yourself Oh so tucked away In the excavation side of our love I'd only pray That if I dug a hole to China You'd meet me halfway Wedding bells rang one day, I, I'd only pray 
that no I sculpture sweet velour Invitation cards of gold or lace Cover bands or cheese fondue Could ever take my place Cause I know when it comes to me Could only pray that when it comes to you That you exactly here and now Is enough to make my wildest dreams come true Time, it runs like a river The old white guy said to me At a summer camp I worked at when I was 15 Inside of a big teepee But little did I know I'd revisit That place many times in dreams and run through those forests in the following years The same markings on the same trees I'm growing older than the singers Who sung my favorite songs I'm getting older than my dad was when he married my mom I'm mulling through my high school photos Like a mirror to find Can hardly recognize the person staring back in my eyes Oh no, not I, I, he, I, I. Surely enough that river But one day made its shore In the fields and glades of memories Made from the places I've been before There is a setting sun there Reflecting upon its sea And refracting its light so lustrous and Bright to radiate now through my dreams I started losing all the people Who I've known my whole life As now I'm winding down this river Like a snake through my mind I'm shedding all my old experiences, places, and friends Until I realize it's only me waiting there at the end Oh no, not I, I, he, I, I. Once saw a star yard Drifting by my bedroom window I'd stay up all night I can't remember what I wished for I can't remember the last time I went for a walk Or really thought about my life I can't recall the last dream I had Or the last time I sang a song Are you awake? 
you were surely dreaming. You were kicking and squirming and wriggling while you slept. It's time to sail. The river's waiting. Sunrise looms and soon may meet our stead. It's all aboard and man your stations. Above the Ganges sings a pink and orange song. And in her notes, you say you found God. And I ain't no believer, but sure can't believe you're wrong. Then came the sun, illuminating my reflection. Though my eyes were weary, they took new life in the river, river, river. I started finding all the corners hiding joy in my life I started recognizing kindness as a boon, not a strife And though the trash stunk up the river, I still sunk my feet in And though I don't believe in God, I found some glory within Whoa, oh, oh, ah, yeah, yeah, ah. I remember now. I remember now. I remember. I remember now. I remember. I remember. My father took me down so far from town through the pines to the water's edge. I hopped into our vessel with not a stress, with not a Precedent. The rapids shook us mighty, but I held on tightly and still peered into the back. The tightly wasn't enough, it just took one bump to rear me off the deck. Lungs inspiring water, my glimpses faltered on the boat ahead. My arms bloodied and scrapped from my harsh nap. Upon the river's bed, my father tossed a rope, but I couldn't cope. I heard a waterfall through the noise. I yelled, I couldn't make it. He yelled back, son, son, you don't have a choice. So though my arms were weighed down, soaked unwieldy, I felt a rush of adrenaline. And though I raged against the tide, I felt much more my rage within. We cannot change the course of some trains. They simply go where they are bound, but not a soul can tell you can't hold on hope to turn it all around though the life check it made it harder to swim i had a fear of death in me the sort of fear that don't care about odds or reasons or what is possible to achieve i rage and fought berated wrought and sated with the scars of time and mercy interlope i caught that rope but came out on the other side i remember now I remember. I remember. I remember. And if they ask me, child, where did you come from? And if they ask me, child, why are your hands numb? In the river I have swum. 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 And if they ask me, child, where have you begun? Do you feel anguish that it cannot be undone? In the river I have swum, in the river I have swum, in the river I have swum, in the river I have swum. that river and the paths we didn't take to the herons and cattails with no knowledge of time we all end up in the same place well 
think that's it. That's it what? What does that mean? I mean, that's it. You told me to start at the beginning, and I did, and honestly, I think it was really helpful talking to someone about all this stuff, and I, I feel really reborn now, you know? Yeah, yeah, reborn, seen the light, I've heard it all before, you know? Well, it's making me think maybe there's a, there's a reason for everything. Maybe God or Jesus puts you here for a reason to guide me. I think I finally get it now. I was lost, but now I'm found. Oh, little lost lamb, I'm glad to be of assistance to you, help you see the light or whatever the fuck it is. Thank you, Father. Goodbye. And so he walked out onto the street with a new perspective in life. I feel so alive! The birds were singing in the trees. There was magic in the way the babies cried in their cribs. And then just like that... Watch out for the piano! <laughs> He died. Where am I? Am I... Am I dead? Beep, beep, beep. Yell, yell, a beep. Hold on. Her face was like the Hanzi. Canadians look the same.
Hey, kid, get up! I must have fallen asleep on the toilet. Wakey, wakey, no you didn't. You're in hell. So, so you're telling me the Muslims are right all along? And Allah is the one true God? It would appear that way, yes. So, so then what are you doing here? Are you the devil? I thought I told you, kid. There ain't no devil. There's just God when he's drunk. So you're God then. I'm so confused. I thought I finally had the answer. I thought it was finally ready to embrace life. But now I'm stuck in hell with you, and I'm more confused than ever. Son, there are give or take six, seven billion human beings on this planet. Each of them has their own personal view of God. Maybe he likes it when you eat chicken on Tuesdays. Maybe he hates it. Chicken always gave me the shits personally. And what's your point? Well, maybe you never really had a clear idea of God or the devil, so they just filled that in for you and gave you the blank ones. I don't know, I'm just a raging alcoholic. So what? Because I never had a clear idea of God, I'm stuck here with you? Forever? That's BS. You know, I don't think you listened to a single word I said this entire time. You only finally woke up when it was your time to die. And you're only realizing the folly of your ways now that it's too late. You cannot turn back time, you know? So now what do I do? I'm sorry, God. I'm sorry. Allah Akbar! Allah Akbar! Hey, hey, I got a migraine. Stop your sniveling. You want a swig? Wait. There's alcohol in hell? Oh, yeah. We got polka, cheesecake, and strip poker on a Friday. But, but isn't hell supposed to be, like, torture? Well, cheesecake's torture for your figure, am I right? And anyway, what would living people know about hell? So I'm... I'm really dead? Yeah. Sorry, son. I think it's all starting to come back to me now. The memories of things I, I don't think I knew since I was a little kid. Some memories I haven't even remembered since, since before I was born or something. Can I just sing one last song before I go with you? I've got this tune in my head. I think it's all coming back to me now. One last one, kid. Let it out. Then let's go play some magic. Wait. There are magic cards here. good in this world And I believe the sun shines bright off the dew Even for the darker he has a living soul The darker he has a living soul When I was thirteen Walk home with a boy Talk about how life takes all things good And destroys them the best All the kids including me Joking be a school shooter At 14 he left our school And we never heard from him again Even so I was captivated by him so his words they got to me Around that same time I started dealing with my own depression I couldn't comprehend why God would make me feel the way I felt Could I be the dark and the living soul Could I really be Dark as And as I grew up, the ugliness intensified. The magic goat guy cultivated grew tragically dark inside. As if to reflect the way it believed itself to be. Set there up like the darkness I saw in humanity I saw the ugliness in myself 
it all felt so inhuman What twisted artists would hang me in the loop What awful sculpture would convince the world The girl I know I was held value So I grew to see my life's mission to give I give all of my happiness For I was not deserving of it No, not for the dark gaslighting soul No, not for the dark gaslighting soul whose father got shot and killed by the cops when he was only four. On the playground now the boy plays police with the other kids. He tells them they're arrested, hits them to the ground and kicks them. Misbehaves, he yells at others and he screams. Sometimes look into his eyes And this strange question that comes to me How could a seedling sprout with so little light? How could some seedlings sprout without water? How could a seedling be forced to sprout without air? Could a seedling be destined to sprout without love? Could this be the dark gaseous living soul? Could he be the dark gaseous living soul? No, I won't let him be the dark gaseous living soul. I can't let him be the dark gaseous living soul. No, I believe that people are good in this world. Chim chim.